truth you pray. Feel our minds, stir our hearts, move our being, nourish our spirit, make us one body with the living word of God. Make us one body with the living word of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, for us to be worthy in this sacred celebration with all humility, let us ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may, be, we may abound in good works. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, Lord God, and who are the members of my house, that you have brought me to this point? Yet even this you see as too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. These two you have shown to man, Lord God. You have established for yourself your people Israel as yours forever. And you, Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, confirm for all time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house and do as you have promised. Your name will be forever great when men say, The Lord of hosts is God of Israel, and the house of your servant David stands firm before you. It is you, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who said in a revelation to your servant, I will build a house for you. Therefore, your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you. And now, Lord God, your God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then bless the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised, by your blessing the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. Lord, remember David and all his anxious care. How he swore an oath to the Lord, vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. 
I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling for the Mighty One of Jacob. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord will give him the throne of David, his father. Please stand. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought into a, to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible, nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Lalong-lalong pa yung mga nanonood, nanonood ng live stream nito mula po sa minor basilika po dito sa Manawan. We have heard in the gospel, Jesus said, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you and still more will be given to you. Tanong ko sa inyo mga kapatid ngayon, How would you like others to deal with you? How would you like them to treat you? Most certainly, ang gusto natin, tratuhin tayo na may pag-intindi, may pangunawa, may awa rin. Yun ang expectation natin sa lahat ng mga taong nakakasalamuhan natin. We wish to be shown kindness, compassion, care, honesty, and the like. One thing this passage reveals us is that we will be dealt with God in the same way we deal with others. Kung paano natin tinatrato ang ating kapwa, ganun din tayo tatatuhin ng ating kapwa-tao. Kung ginawa natin na masama ang ating kapwa-tao, do not expect, irerespeto, igagalang tayo ng ating kapwa-tao. Kung tinatrato natin ang ating kapwa-tao, katulad ng pagtrato sa atin ng ating Panginoong Diyos, na merong uh, awa at pangunawa at pagintindi sa kabila ng kahinaan natin bilang isang tao, well, nado doon makukuha natin ang pagrespeto rin sa atin ng ating kapwa-tao. Ideally, my dear brothers and sisters, 
we will show mercy and goodness to others simply because it is the right thing to do. Yun po ang tama. God call us to a life of abundant charity and we should always desire to live that life. God Himself is charity. At ang pag-ibig ng Diyos, kahit hindi tayo uh, karapat-dapat, binibigay pa rin natin. Binibigay pa rin ng Diyos sa atin. Because God is charity Himself. At ang panawagan din sa atin, maging charitable din po tayo sa ating kapwa-tao. Yun po din challenge sa ating relihiyon, kristyano, ang mag-ibigan tayo kasi yun ang bili ni Jesus. Ibigin din kahit yung mga taong hindi ka ibig-ibig. If we struggle, my dear brothers and sisters, with charity towards others, perhaps one motivating factor could be to realize that we will be treated in the same way that we act toward, towards others. Kung paano natin tinatrato ang ating kapwa, ganun din ang babalik po sa atin, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina. Kung ginawan mo, trinato mo na may pagmamahal, awa at pangunawa ang iyong kapwa-tao, babalik sa iyo ang kabutihan. Pero kung ginawan mo ng masama, babalik din po sa iyo ang masama. Though this may put a certain holy fear in our hearts and encourage us to act with mercy, it should also call us to desire to go beyond the basics and to offer love and compassion in abundant way. Kung hirap kang pakita ng pagpapahalagay sa iyong kapwa, go beyond. Lose. Do not be afraid to loosen up yourself. Kasi kung makikita naman natin ating Panginoong Jesus nakabayubay sa cross, sa krus, yan po'y pagpapakita ng pag-ibig niya sa atin. At yan po ang dapat gayahin natin, tularan natin sa ating buhay. Ibigin kahit yung mga taong nanakit sa atin. And that is love. Think about it, my dear brothers and sisters. If you spend your whole life striving to forgive, to show love, to reconcile, to help those in need, so on and so forth, it can be measured, these gifts being lavished upon you now and in the end. Practice po natin, mga kapatid. Isa buhay po natin yung ating napapakinggan. Isa buhay po natin sa ating mga sarili ang buhay mismo ni Kristo, who is charity himself. You can be measured that God will not withhold anything from you. Instead, He will joyfully pour out upon you more than you could ever expect or hope for. So today, so today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we look again on ourselves, kamusta yung pagpapakita natin ng pagpapahalaga natin sa ating kapwa-tao? Upon our own calling to a life of abundant generosity, God is generous Himself. God is generous to His charity sa ating lahat. Dapat tayo mga Kristiyano, we should also show our generosity sa ating kapwa. There are countless ways that you are called to be generous toward others. So my dear brothers and sisters, it's a challenge to us. Let us commit ourselves to this life of goodness and then anticipate all that God will pour forth upon you. Kung nakikita ng Diyos, gumagawa ka na mabuti sa iyong kapwa-tao, you will be rewarded by our God. Amen. Please stand. God the Father has invited us to be His ministers to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. In every prayer, let the response be, Abide with those you send, O Lord. Abide with those who send His work.
that the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and in deed. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the work of missionaries in foreign lands may be rewarded with an abundant harvest. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may persevere in their vocation of handing on the faith to their children. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show care, sympathy, love, and understanding to those who are weighed down by life's misfortunes. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer that those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord God, in you we trust. You have chosen us in Christ to proclaim the love you have shown us. Make us true to the message of the gospel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Lord, we gather today in your house. We kneel down. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty as salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through Him with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of her face. Have mercy us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, you away, take the away the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please leave. May the sin your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, that can be the judgment and condemnation, but your loving mercy be for me, protection in mind and body, and a healing remedy. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Son of Mary. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that they should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Please all kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. 
Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please, Please stand. stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always grow in your gift, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go and bring with you the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. After the blessing, Paul will be having the blessing of the sick and the blessing of the religious articles. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. By your, O God, Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.